Ah, uh, shit. Um, it's Saturday night, folks. Murder Hobo Week campaign edition. We are trekking towards the end. I'm guessing maybe. It's the final countdown. <laughs> There you go. Uh, it will not be over tonight, but it might be over on Halloween. Uh, these guys are about to, I don't know. <laughs> it's its uh, do or die time. It could be over tonight. I it mean, could be over tonight, uh, assuming Taryn dies, which with the lowest amount of hit points that is possible. Folks, saying- follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to buy our cool stuff. It's down there. If you want to chat with us and shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord server. It's down there. Most importantly, if you want a seat on the talk shows on Tuesday or the one shots, especially next week, uh, M Hobo Inc., either Twitter or Gmail, uh, hit us up. Let us know. We will get you squared away. Before we do the recap, let's introduce you to the panel who's going to make it or break it. First up is Chris. Chris, who are you? Who are you playing? My name is Chris. I'm playing Maniz, the Aarakocker, Aarakocla, ugh, whatever, we know what it is, Birdman, <laughs> cleric. My tongue's not working today. Um, I found out that for like the last three levels, I didn't update my hit points, so I was extra squishy for no reason. Oh, mouse. <laughs> uh, next up is Taryn. Carol, tell us about Taryn. Hi, I'm Carol. I'm I am a commissioned mini painter, longtime gamer, and occasional GM who will be running next week. I'm so excited. Uh, and yes, I play Taryn, the half wood elf, half high elf bard, uh, who is not in a very good headspace right now because everybody, like she knows, she thinks is dead. At least that's what Frank keeps telling me, the player. Uh, and usually, I am Chris's uh, Chris's healer, so or Minnie's healer. Because he was down to that. But maybe now, maybe now he'll be a little more durable. <laughs> now that he's got more hit points than I do. Uh, you have the least amount of hit points, as a matter yeah, of fact. Yeah. yeah, but before I had more because he didn't level up his, his hit points at all. That's true. Well, clerics are stupid. Uh, don't believe in <laughs> something you can't see. Next up is Kyle. Kyle, tell us about Dewey. <laughs> Gotta make sure I'm unmuted first. Hi, everybody. I'm Kyle. I'll be playing Dewey Docamel, the live barbarian. We're just going to have a lovely time just painting all the fields and the swamps with blood these next two weeks. It's going to be fine and dandy. And if we make a little mistake, well, that's just the end of the world. And we're just going to paint it all black and start anew. It's going to be all good. Uh, last but certainly not least is Lucas. Uh, Ernest, tell us about Lucas. Yeah, so my name's Ernest. I'm playing uh, Lucas, the elven anti-druid. And uh, my character is usually pretty adverse to fights and likes to flee. So it'll be interesting to uh, see how my character reacts to the situation we're about to be in. I am certain that he will react with courage honor and fortitude uh folks courage we, is for the people that die that's right losers suckers uh folks uh as many of you know uh pirate dog dice is run by my wife and she is the producer and she has a special message for the players because she knows what this has so producer what do you want to tell them oh, no so for the course of the last almost two years <laughs> that we've been doing this, I have been equally parts horrified, bored, just drunk sometimes because what the hell. But most of all, for the next two episodes, I want to say, Taryn, I am so sorry. <laughs> Why? Oh, you know so you many know. dead puppies. So many you, dead puppies. May the odds be forever in your favor because you're going to need it. Karen's about to find her backstory. And oh, I got to zip up my dick. Face in a huge way. And I can't wait. Carol can't wait. Taryn Oops. is already in a bad place. This is going to stink, but if you have adventure sense, you can make your game smell a whole lot better. And they are handled by oddfishgames.com, our <laughs> primary sponsor. So uh, it's going to get stinky. It's going to get smelly. It's going to get dirty. And watching Taryn have her mental breakdown and then watching 
girl have her mental breakdown is going to be glorious. If this is the first time you're watching, welcome aboard. We'll do a quick recap. If you've seen this show before, you know what kind of mess they're in. These guys are trying to stop ultimate evil, uh, and they believe that it is in the city of Fulton. Uh, the continent, or the country that they are currently in, Sidelis, is in an uprised civil war, and the head of that rebel scum is General Io, and he calls Fulton home, as did Taryn. So once they get to Fulton, maybe Taryn will have some insight on what they can do. In the meantime, Lucas, uh, an orphan, has met his uncle, uh, the Commodore, uh, Commodore Elwind uh, Hatteras. And he drew the short straw. He will be going in with the party to Fulton. Uh, producer, go ahead and throw up the regional map for us, please. Uh, overnight, Lord Bushmill has come up with his battle plan. Uh, as you guys decided uh, in the previous session, uh, everybody's going out on the three ships, uh, and they are headed to Fulton. Lord Bushmill fills that since you guys are the primary, uh, you are going to be landed in Troll Swamp just across the bay from the city. He believes that the lighthouse on the shoals may provide advanced warning to the city. So your primary mission is going to be to intercept any workers from that lighthouse trying to get to Fulton and warn uh, <coughs> about the impending invasion. All three vessels will go after the city of Fulton and the Tower of Power, AKA uh, Tower on the Edge of the White Cliffs that guard the opening. Uh, it is going to be a spectacular mess. Uh, and hopefully, um, yes, I see it. Uh, hopefully uh, all will go well, uh, but Bushmel's gonna tell you, it's your show to screw up or make. Uh, what do you got, Dewey? You're muted. Don't people work at lighthouses and wouldn't they have a way to warn the city via the lighthouse? Maybe. Yeah, they'll pick up the telephone. The I don't know. Oh, they no, do the have a giant fire. signal <laughs> that rotates on a constant basis. You break that. Eh. Oh, no, bad. the lighthouse is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Just lock everybody in there. And then light the lighthouse on fire. Oh, I don't know. Nice. You get like some copper uh, sparks or whatever. You throw it into the lighthouse fire. And then all of a sudden it's a green light that goes around. And everyone's like, oh, no, we're being attacked. Or potassium for yellow or potassium for magnesium yellow, for white. Or, <laughs> yeah. The red one. What's the red one? Uh, the red one. Because, uh, I mean, that seems like a great way to warn a city. Oh, hey, by the way. There's some enemy ships coming in. <laughs> Red light for us. Are we supposed to be stopping them from warning the city? Yes, that yeah. would be the, that but would don't be the people work in a lighthouse? That's the thing. Yeah. Someone has to keep the lighthouse. I think that's the point, is we're trying to stop the people who work in it from getting out and warning everyone. But they have a giant signal beacon that they're in. I mean... I mean, there could very possibly. I'm sorry. Am I the only one who thought about this? No, oh, you no. Are. folks. Uh, this campaign will be over on the 28th of November at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I'm having a blast playing this campaign. So, uh, Lord no. Bushmill has said you guys need to get your rest. We sail at first light. Be on the docks, or you're walking. Why uh, don't we? Hey, could we we could we sleep on the boat? Since I don't think necessarily anywhere in this town is freaking safe for us. I mean, we got uh, a tent at our inn. You can sleep in the army barracks if you want. It's up to you guys. That's up to you guys. But it was it, it said eventually. I guess I came and rejoined the party. I don't know why you're causing shit here. I told us that we were going to get a long rest. Now you're bringing that up into question. No, 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 no. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're going to get our long rest regardless. I also know there's a friggin' monk running around on the loose still. There is a monk running around. Uh, so, I mean, and that was brought up before this entire thing. Um, no, I... 
And where do you guys want to rest? Because I don't feel very safe in the freaking inn. In the they rooms that they've prepared for us? Yeah, I'm cool with that. If we can, I mean, the army barracks might be better. I, 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 uh, I don't care. You can sleep on board the ship if you want. That's what I said. What's the name of the ship? And we won't miss it. We can of? sleep in and we won't miss it sailing away. You guys are on the Nina. The Nina. <laughs> <laughs> what are the other two called? I think we both know. <laughs> <laughs> the Titanic, the Lusitania, and the Bismarck. The, the Bismarck. The ships. You guys can choose whatever you want. I'll take Bismarck, honestly. There you go. You got a better chance on the Bismarck. <laughs> so the, the, the dwarven griffin riders will be happy that you have chosen the Bismarck. <laughs> So, uh, who is sleeping where? I'll sleep on a boat. I'll sleep on the boat. Like, Lucas? at, at like, I, I assume these are masted boats, yes? Oh, yeah. They're, okay. they're, they're I'll, sleep, I'll sleep on the... Crow's nest? We'll call it the Minis nest. Yeah, that works. Oh, sure. <laughs> Lucas? I don't care. I, wherever the party's at, that's where I'll be at. They're going on the Nina. Uh, Dewey, did you have an errand to run? I do. I go back to Turbuckle Benskin's body and oh. search it. As well as attempt to figure out where he lived and go through his study to find any notes he may have. D12 against me, please. D12. Ooh. It's the one like an octagon. Ten. One. Uh, the information provided to you it is valid, both of them. Yep. Uh, uh, no his, more. His, his apartment is fried. It seemed to have taken several hits from the uh, Seaborn trebuchet. All right. I will take whatever notes I can and uh, make my way to the Nina. D12 to see if you meet the monk. Oh, God. No! Oh, roll off! <laughs> That's two in a row for me. <laughs> you get the feeling that you are being followed through the gritty, debris-strewn streets. A cadre <laughs> of guards is headed your way. They are wearing cloaks as... It begins to rain. Ah, uh, gross. Yeah, no, nothing bad ever happens then. <laughs> rain is good. Yeah. But you're pretty sure that there is someone behind you. Fortunately for you, good news, the guards are right in front of you. What would you like to do? Oh. Uh, I didn't I... promise everybody a long rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I grab my bag just a little bit tighter to myself like a white girl going through the ghetto and start moving a little bit quicker uh, back and forth as I go on my high heels click 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 ah. as you pass the guards you hear a melodic voice of a female say excuse me traveler may I have a moment of your time I uh, turn around Tell them you've already been excommunicated. <laughs> That's rain, how that works. The rain begins to fall in earnest. Uh, four of the guards no, are male. No, it looks pretty dry where Lucas is at. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> four of the guards are male. One is female. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, traveler. What are you doing on the streets? I'm going to the Nina. I'm, I'm one of the heroes. Ah. We did not mean to disturb you. Good luck. We're all counting on you. Thank, thank you. Do you take off for the dock? I take off for the dock. D12. D12. 12. <laughs> 12. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. Game on, bitches. Knife in the back. <laughs> uh, 16. Two. Hit. No. 
uh, a silver throwing star funk lands at a uh, support for a balcony as you run down the street. Somebody's winging shit at you. I turn around. <laughs> you see five dead bodies in the street <laughs> and one robed figure standing in the middle of them. Oh, not this again. <laughs> <laughs> They can try. Okay. All right. Realistically here. Uh, 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 because I am not Dewey and I'm not standing in a rainy street. And honestly, let's be fair. Dewey could have smashed through those guards just as easily, I feel like. Would you stop persuading me, Carrie? I got to know what's going on. <laughs> All for shadow facts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish you. No. Oh. Mother is. <laughs> you have no way to get in touch with us, damn it! Do you? You have no way of getting in touch with us. Nope, not at all. Uh, yes, the robed figure pulls back their cowl as the rain falls <sighs> down upon them, and you recognize them. It's the same monk from earlier. Yes, it's Rutger Hauer. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh God! No, Hauer, I run. Not ugly one. You run? Okay, what's your movement speed? Uh, I am 35, so this guy's oh, catching up to me. In a big hurry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, ooh, double 15s, 22. Both will hit. <laughs> 16 hit points of damage. Okay. Is Dewey going into the fight without a long rest? <laughs> no, we got a long rest last time is what I recall. No, no, yeah. I'm saying after this fight, you're going into another fight without a long rest. No, it, it takes three days to get to the long fight. Yeah. So we'll be oh, fine. If yeah. our uh, boat makes it. Got it. Yeah. If we got Dewey makes to get there. Uh, you see them <laughs> or to run. Shit, long legs. Wait, <laughs> towards or away? Towards. Okay. Uh, at that point, uh, Dewey would like to rage. Sure. And we're going to take down this monk or at least send her packing. Sure. All right. Initiative. Rolling initiative. That was really awful. 12. 24. <laughs> yeah. What was yours? 12. Remember Terminator 2? Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> Coming full bore. Mm -hmm. uh, begins the leap. And a bolt of energy strikes the monk dead in the chest, oh. knocking it backwards. Woo! Smoke rises from the chest. What would you like to do? Bury a great axe into her chest. Just to be on the safe side. Go ahead. That is a natural 20. Okay. Am I at that point where I can do that? No. Uh, so that is 6-6. Six, six. I need to roll damage. Huh? I need to roll damage for the blast. 18. That is a lot of murder hobos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 18 slashing and 7 radiant. You chop his head off. Oh, his head? His head. Oh, cool. You were mistaken because it appears as though this is an elven monk. <gasps> After my knees, clearly. Uh, can I search the body? Sure. Are you forgetting something? The person behind me who shot the smoking crater into the monk? Yeah. Yeah. I'll turn around. Who is it? No one there? Nobody there. It was Lucas. I'll thank him when I see him, although I don't as like you, him right As now, you look so at I the streets, 
As you look at the street <laughs> sign, you're at the corner of uh, Dallas and uh, Dealey Plaza. <laughs> Kennedy joke. <laughs> Where's the second? Where's the second shooter? Okay, my knees. Go through the monk's belongings if possible. Uh, there is a piece of parchment on here with a description of one of your associates. Feathered, pointy-eared man, woman. Yep. Which one? <laughs> Feathered. Oh. <laughs> oh. Why are they looking for me? What I do? What? Wow, I'm surprised, actually. But I would still be upstairs in my little thing. I didn't get off there. Right. Any belongings, um, stamps, anything like that on the notes? Nothing else. No other evidence. Okay. I'll grab one of the throwy star thingamajiggers. The note. Uh, D- D- D20, make sure you don't cut your thumb. Does a two cut my thumb? To cut your thumb. It's a bad night, guys. <laughs> Six hit oh. points of damage. <laughs> it's a real bad night, guys. <laughs> no. You can't have a bad night tonight. <laughs> well, that's a hey. terrible bad night. I only have three to begin with. <laughs> All right. And I head to the Nina ship. Uh, a cadre of guards. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I tell the cadre of guards that's a good idea first. Oh, uh, the knocked out guys? Oh, are they knocked out or are they dead? They're knocked out. Oh, thank God. Okay. I go wake one of them up. Male or female? Uh, female seemed to be in charge, so I'll wake her up. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, what do you want to tell her? Just like um, the monk guy person knocked you out. Um, he's beheaded over there, but I'm really tired and I'd like to get some sleep. Oh, so you just are, you're just going to do this and not write the report. You're going to stick me with the report. This is an excessive amount of paperwork for a beheaded creature in the middle of the street. Got it. Thanks. Do you want the murder weapon? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, also there was a light, a blast, a so there was someone else there who, uh, knocked her out first him out i'm sorry elves look so much like women all the time that it's really hard to keep them straight i mean even i have this friend lucas who has a beard and everything like that we'll go ahead and take care of this still looks like a bearded lady so our last campaign game will be on december 4th (laughs) that's fine Uh, so you return to the nina uh get your rest in uh everybody give me a d20 roll straight up all right 12 yes six 13 six uh lucas you wake up uh odd early even late late (laughs) uh and when you wake up, you are already headed out to sea. Uh, Maniz, as you and Dewey are well aware of, it is raining. Uh, and looking at the skies, it does not look like it's going to get any better. Uh, as you found out during the War Council, it will take three days to get to your destination. Uh, anybody want to say anything as we take three days of travel time? Mm. Hey, guys. What's your thoughts on the fact that we had a whole lot of public spectators that know our plan? I think that was a bad idea. I I never liked having that freaking meeting in the first place. Well, Maybe you would like to go tell Lord Bushmill yourself their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We're doing this without anybody around. <sighs> it's too late to change the plan. Unless you just don't well, want to go into the city and then make the water attack, you know, no, no, or no, not, they're... and then everyone's pissed at us, and then we have to flee. No, their plan can stay the same. I'm wondering if we need to change. I'm worried about the fact that we might go directly to Io's office 
and he's not, he, he neither he or the item are going to be there. And there's going to be a whole bunch of people there. It's a trap. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's, a trap. it's I, a trap. Do we have a, a, <laughs> a better <laughs> option? I'm looking at all the <laughs> ideas. I mean, all the thing that came to mind is find some way. I don't know if anybody's got like fine person or something to find him or have. Um, I've never met him. Her. We do have an hour of being invisible. So we okay. have the movement around the city. Now, how and many we, people can you make invisible? I believe I can make, can't I make the whole party? Actually, I can do everybody because I can use, I can heighten it to fourth level and I can get multiple people that way. And then if there's somebody else, I could cast it again. Commodore Hatteras uh, brings you a hot plate of food, Lucas. Nephew, keep up your strength. It's going to be a rough ride. Thank you. What are we talking Thank about? Uh, <laughs> oh, Taryn wants to change the plan. I think that is something that Lord Bushmill might have to do. He is in charge of this operation. Oh, no. His plan wouldn't change. This is what we're going to do inside the city. And I don't think anybody but us four should know what that is. Five. Do not forget, young half elf, that I am going with you. So you are going to. So you're going to come. Oh, I don't. Yeah, think remember I the Commodore was joining us. Yeah, no, I wasn't sure if he was going to actually go all the way. Yeah, that's right. He is going all the way with us. Uh, yeah, I'll have enough spell slots to still cover everybody with invisibility. Um, because that's kind of a key to us getting in. Sure. Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we're going to need it because when we land, it should be high noon. Co so, Commodore, we were, I mean, there were a bunch of people at that meeting. Are we sure we can trust them all? And that one of them isn't a plant or, or infected themselves? He puts his hands on his hips and gives his best Arrow Flynn impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> of course we can trust them. They're our allies. So was an Io. Io oh. was our fighting companion, never our ally. Regardless, he was your friend from what I can You remember. worry too much, young elf. It will be fine. <laughs> I worry for a lot of good reason, especially with where we're going and who we're dealing with. Aren't you from Fulton? Yeah, that's... How do we know we can trust you? You can't throw her off the boat. <laughs> because I'm... No, I'm because, kidding. Dewey's not even there. Because this is about defeating the evil that's tainted them all. This isn't about Fulton. This is not about Yaddle. This is about something a lot bigger than just me. But if you had to put that way, Io pretty much probably has killed my entire family and a bunch or most of my family and several of my friends, at least. I'm sure. There's a big list of friends. <laughs> Not that list, folks. Especially, I had to make up three that, you, that already were dead. So I added, what, about five more? Yep. Yeah. So not that many. <sighs> but well, my friends, you have friends. three days to figure out what we're going to do. Uh, I might blow that. I might spend, I might try to cast sending spells to the rest of the people on that list. And mom to see if maybe mom Storm and dad. Looks like it's picking up. <laughs> oh, good sound effects. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, that was my only thought of whether or not we should, you know, we have an hour. Maybe if Minis look around and see if he can find them. Find who? Uh, Io. Io, I'm, I'm worried about the fact that if they've got word, they're going to be, they're going to set a trap for us in Io's office because they know that's where we're going. Possibly. So I'm thinking maybe we need to take a look around. And since he can fly and move pretty fast and cover a lot of ground, and he'll be invisible. Now, if we won't even go double, I mean, Lucas can turn into a bird and you can both, we can have multiple eye, eyes in the sky searching around. Scud it's missiles, a, baby. Scud missiles. <laughs> I was, was going to look and see. I don't think I can have access to fine person. Otherwise, I'd, 
I'd be tempted. I'm going to take a look because I could, could swap up a spell and I was thinking that before we get there. Well, until we find a better plan, let's stick with this one. Ugh, I don't like this one. All right. But it's fair. Day one ends mm. uneventfully, except that the storm seems to be growing in intensity. Everybody give um, me a constitution check to start day two. Which hey. direction is the storm? Is it in the direction of Fulton? It's south to north. Oh, I'm gonna you guys that. are going east. I rolled, uh, <clears throat> I rolled okay. a 13. On, uh, 18. <clears throat> hey, by the way, I will do sending on three of those people on that list. Are okay. any alive? Hang on just a second. Two. Uh, Lucas, you're seasick. Dewey, what was yours? <laughs> uh, it uh, actually probably doesn't matter at this point. 23. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Uh, who were you sending it to? I don't know. I, we'll, let's just go down the list. I don't have the list on me. Um, so the first, your wow, great, Taryn. Boyfriend. Girlfriend. Uh, ex-boyfriend. Yeah, ex-boyfriend. Yeah, I thought you said, all right. Human ex paladin. I, see, I have the fucking list. I know. I could I could go. I have to go dig it up um, on my emails. Uh, you were going to do three? Yeah. Because I get like three a day. So Actually, Keenan and Darianelle. Yeah, Darianelle. Darianelle's probably, she's a no. She's probably dead. Uh, the paladin answers you. <gasps> He's not my ex. We didn't break up. I You've just been gone for six months, hanging out with low-life scumbags. All right, all right. Doing me... porn on Only Me or My Life or whatever the hell that website is. Only fans. <laughs> Thank He's you. <laughs> Paladin actually works as a city guard. So, um, what do I say to him? Hey, you didn't sell out, did you? No. You've been I loyal to me, haven't you, you scumbag? <laughs> or have you no. been dinging Martha no. Plimpton? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Hey, War. How are things? Uh, so, um, I'm coming back. And any little tidbits you could quickly give me um, as a response to this message would be wonderful. Love you. He has uh, 25 the, words. You it's cut like, off. Like 20, 20. <laughs> I was counting. <laughs> How many words did I get to? I you got count. 26 words. All right. So it cuts off before the last. Oh, yeah, love. Okay. Wow. Uh, what ready? does she love? You ready to count, Lucas? Oh, God. Because okay. I'm, I'm making this shit up on the spur of the moment. <laughs> That's kind of RP. Hey, my love. I can hardly wait to see you. Things are difficult here, as you can imagine. I await your arrival and hope to see you soon. Wow. How many do I have? That was I 25 on the dot, I think. That's it. That's a fucking Woo! DM, boys and girls. <laughs> That's it, folks. Join us uh, Tuesday. <laughs> wow! Yeah. Remember the end of the campaign, December fourth, twenty twenty-one. Ah, uh, a lot of shit to RP. Kinaran, what do you want to say to them? Do oh, I get a response? What do, are you going to say something to them? Yeah, I'll say. No, this is the next person on the list. Yeah, it's like, I know. Hey, um, this, is, this is somebody. <laughs> so this is somebody who I think is in touch and probably would know the fate of my <laughs> Shut up. Oh, I'm sorry, Lucas was doing. <laughs> I uh, hey, Kanarin. Hey, um, all right. 23, okay. let's go. Hey, my whole thing. Hey, Kanarin. Uh, I hope you're well. Uh, trying to find out the state of my parents, are they alive or are they dead? And many of my other friends. That's not quite, yeah, it's, all right, that's it. That was under 25. I think it was about 24. And they answer no. if they don't have a tongue. <laughs> yeah, it's mental. Oh no, it's in their head. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's in your mind, you don't actually speak That's fine. Taryn, do not know fate of family. I have been tortured. My hands are cut. 
I cannot play the keyboard or the lute. Do I have another word? I don't know. I wasn't counting that time. Anymore. I wasn't counting. Uh, oh, that's great. The third message to Darren L. No response. Yeah, I'm not surprised. He's a racist, so I figured that my non-human friends have got the worst of it. Day two, uh, the storm is roiling. Uh, Lucas is ill. Uh, Manise resting in the crow's nest is a really bad idea. They have uh, wound up the sails to avoid splitting. Uh, the three ships are now not within sight of each other as the high seas are abusive uh, to all three vessels. Uh, the entire day, it is hit or miss uh, on damage uh, for your ship, the Nina. 14, weathers the storm fairly well. Uh, you do lose one mariner or uh, uh, soldier. Yes, yeah, seaman uh, or soldier. So you've only lost one person. You cannot see the other two vessels. Uh, including the one Lord Bushmill is on because he is not on your ship. Uh, the Commodore, Elwind, Lucas, uh, is kind of making fun of you because obviously this guy's seen some shit. He's, he's been a sailor for quite some time, uh, but he's going to be a caring uncle because <coughs> he's just got back together. <coughs> Day three, uh, everybody but Lucas, Royal Constitution. All right. I still on day two want to send, try to find out the status of my parents, by the way. I guess I could try to contact mom. Ugh. Or you can roll your con save. <laughs> I fail that one. You're puking. Dewey? 17. Uh, Manise. What are we rolling? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Con. <laughs> oh, con, yes. Oh, it's probably stress, too. It's probably stress induced. What I get for not hearing. You're puking. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, crow's nest too. That'll be pleasant. Uh, let's see how bad it is for you this day. Uh, same thing. Uh, you only lose one. Uh, day three begins with the storm still blasting you. You can surmise that you were in the middle of some type of hurricane. Uh, you still cannot see the other vessels. Uh, and by mid-afternoon, the storm has finally passed. Uh, you can start to get a read off the sun and any stars that are still visible. And Commodore uh, Elwind has bad news. You are off course and uh, will arrive sometime tomorrow. Do you need to get a message to Bushmill to wait? Don't see the ship. Doesn't matter. I have sending. We don't need to see the ship. Sure, you can send. Uh, you can burn a message to him. All right. So I do. Um, if you, do you want me to actually send the message, I could go. I assume you're going to relay your position and current status. No you response. <laughs> All basically, I was going to say, Lord Bushmill, we have been sent off course. We are now delayed a day. So we'll have to, so please hold up the attack for a day. And he can respond. Fine. <laughs> uh. Well, I didn't want him to say, well, we've been held up for two days. I mean, if they get held up more than us. Nope. You will arrive in the area on day four. Uh, day four, uh, the seas are calmer. You have corrected your course due to the skillful maneuvers of the Commodore. You are back on track. And as you enter uh, the region, you see that the other two vessels have arrived successfully, albeit heavily damaged. Uh, Lord Bushmills has taken the brunt of it. Uh, the troll swamp is present. 
uh, the Commodore is uh, being that uh, asshole cheerleader, smacking everybody on their shoulder. All right, it's go time. This is what you were made for. We're going to do this. Uh, they lower a longboat in as dusk sets in on day four. Real quick. Yep. Um, with the information from Benskin that I got and taking uh, uh, the books from... Uh, that talk about how to lock everything up from Torgal Manor and uh, the staff. Can I decipher more of uh, these notes a little bit better? What phase is the moon in currently? Two separate uh, questions there. <clears throat> half moon. It is a half moon right now? It is a half moon and it is the solstice. Ah, shit. That's right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. All right. Uh, Please note the true three associates have no idea. Have no idea. Yeah, no. Dewey has uh, completely disappeared in the ship. Uh, and when he comes out tonight, role play moment, you see that he is shaved all his hair off his head uh, in the typical Andorran gnome style except for his little goatee and he is wearing uh, a typical Andorran robe and he even has a bit of the eyeliner that you would see in the typical Egyptian motif although they kind of look like butterfly wings on the side and he is looking ready for uh, battle with your butterfly wings with the butterfly wings the symbol of night teeth you Godless heathen. You renegade. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's see how the Commodore reacts. Jesus Christ. What does that get up? You look like you're going to war. Aren't we? We're going to war. We're going to go in. We're going to grab Io. We're going to get the hell out. We're going to end this. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. This will be easy. I've been in worse situations. Trust me. We got this. Now, let's get that. I do not trust this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I shove him off the boat. <laughs> and uh, off he go. orders the longboat to be lowered. Uh, you guys are going to have a short trip to the shores of Trolls Swamp, uh, which Taryn is fully aware from growing up in this area that it's filled with fucking trolls. God. <sighs> not berries? Not berries. Uh, Lord Bushmill uh, arrives just as you guys are getting ready to depart. Wishes you good luck and is very solemn about it. You can tell that the worry lines on his face are fully entrenched and... He's worried about his friend the Commodore, not us, I assume. Probably, yeah. He, <laughs> he is very concerned uh, and wishes you all, uh, honestly, good luck. Uh, I have volunteered to take on the Tower of Power. The other two ships are going to bombard the city uh, right after nightfall because we assume that everything there will be lit up. Uh, we will have a much better chance to be in a defensive position uh, and much more difficult to hit uh, on the darkened seas, even with the half moon and the solstice. Uh, we will begin our attack just after dark. Be careful. Watch out for friendly fire. Ah, <laughs> oh, FS on. Ah. <laughs> uh, you Frank, guys you need to be wearing your mask, man. That's right. You guys, <laughs> you guys get on the boat. The Commodore's let's do this oh, we're gonna do this this is gonna be great gives lucas a hard pat on the back come on come on are you ready are you ready are you ready you know you're ready let's go um uh, i cast i cast resistance on him which does uh uh target before the spell ends the target can roll a d4 and add the number roll to one saving throw of his choice Okay. How long does it last? Up to a minute. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need to know. 
He didn't give a shit. Uh, <laughs> you, you let forever go. <laughs> you and you left side. You and you right side. Let's do this. Uh, he orders you guys to. <laughs> 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 he stands at the prow of the- <laughs> you, guys- <laughs> you guys move in uh, <laughs> yeah, under his expert tutelage uh, you manage to guide the craft into a small cove uh, the swamp is everything you have ever wanted in a swamp it is sticky overgrown mushy uh a lot of bullfrogs a lot of flies smells like wet ass there's uh, an ogre over there saying get out of my hey. swamp <laughs> i was actually just grabbing a shrek image <laughs> yeah you were frank i have an important question sure the uh the amulet i got up from my sister's stuff i would have spent an hour with it do i know what it does i would have attuned it to myself <clears throat> Protects you from poison. All right. Oh, you That's don't need that. Important. It's important to Not in a swamp. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna find poison here. Fool. Yeah. Uh, the Commodore jumps off as you guys beach the boat uh, and quickly runs over to a willow tree and begins to urinate. Uh, once he is done, he hikes up his britches and he goes, "Okay." <laughs> And he sets out on the guidepost. Uh, from your landing position, you were able to notice the lighthouse. And since it's only dusk, uh, more than likely, your three ships will have been spotted. Since it is only dusk, there's not a whole lot of uh, illumination can do for you. So you surmise that you best get to those fuckers first. Uh, I assume you want to go along the coastline or would you like to just cut through the center and hope you find a choke point? Uh, let's use my knees, yeah? Sure. I'm following the Commodore. I would not follow that guy to save my life. <laughs> he is oh. going to get us all killed. No, he will save our life. I trust him. So you want to send Maniz up above the tree canopy out of your sight to scout. Oh, we're totally getting separated. Great. <laughs> I'm going back to the boat if that's what you guys want. <laughs> oh, nope. Darn, I lost them. I'll meet them at the boat. <laughs> Sorry, I got lost. I figured, you know, go back to where we started. I'll be there um, for the Jub Jub celebration with the Ewoks. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's all agree now if we get separated, our rendezvous point is the lighthouse. That's fine. That works. That's, go anyways. Okay, cool. Lead on, Commodore. I don't know uh, where he's going, but I'm following Commodore. Uh, the Commodore looks around, gets his bearings. Thank God Swamp is my favorite terrain. We're going this way. Um, and ease, are you going up or no? Um, no. No, I don't okay. think that's a good idea. Uh, as you guys wander through... Uh, it, it's shitty terrain. I mean, it is just horrific, shitty terrain. Every 25 steps or so, you step in a sinkhole and mud fills your boots. It is- and we lost Dewey. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I don't have any boots. <laughs> Joke's on you. <laughs> he, he rises up like he's in Predator, <laughs> covered in mud. Uh, a uh, About a half hour into the trek, there is a discernible trail here uh the commodore calls for you to halt calls for you to sit down looks around around, retreats back i have a trail it goes towards the east that's probably the lighthouse trail and then there's a trail kind of north northeast and that probably leads out into stable land where we can head over to fulton my suggestion this is a democracy we stay here. We wait for the individuals. Uh, we surprise them and deal with them here. Actually, sounds like a pretty decent idea. But what if there's a different path from the lighthouse to Fulton? Why would there be two paths? Why can't we just lock them in their damn lighthouse? Uh, this is a kill. To the lighthouse, to the this bank. is a kill mission. What? <laughs> there's no prisoners here. 
I agree with you, Commodore. I was planning on killing them no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> you better get your head on straight half elf because this is everybody dies. We are not taking fucking prisoners. We are not tying people up. These people die. They are rebel scum. I'm <laughs> but so we're not going to war. So friggin' push. <laughs> Which is the nicest thing Dewey has said to Terra in a while, making fun of the Commodore. Uh, now I know where I get my sociopathic tendency, tendencies. It's genetic. <laughs> His vote is to stay here, <laughs> intercept anybody coming, deal with them, and move on. My view is that if we friggin' we're wasting resources that we need when we get into town. What do you mean wasting resources? They're lighthouse people. It's not like we're going to burn spells. Are we not going to take any? Are they not going to fight? Uh, <laughs> They'll fight <laughs> for about that long. So then they're not really much of a threat other than the fact they're messengers. Why are we killing them? Because they'll the save point? lives later on. She's got what? a point, though. She does no have a point. point. All right, Maniz, you're the last also, vote. Why would we wait in Troll Swamp if there weren't trolls in Troll Swamp? There yeah, no, we're control swamp. I know there are. I don't know why we're here. Why right are we right here? Buddy, right? nature check. Nature Everybody. check. Everybody. Fucking great. Ooh, I do well with these. For, uh, Frank, you did say I knew, right? You knew what? You said I know there are trolls in this area when we you, got here. You not got 20. Do I need ah, a measure? I'm, I am Wait. one with nature. <laughs> Modified 20. I'll make one anyways. All four of you realize uh, there's fresh footprints headed north there, boss. I don't want to. We're too late. They're ahead of us. Oh, Oh, it's not survival, huh? Lucas, turn into an elk and let's go. Uh, He looks down with a 16, says, ah, shit, double time. Let's go. All right, I follow. You guys are zipping through the swamp. Uh, the elves, uh, what's your movement speed, Lucas? Uh, 35 feet. So everybody's 35 except for Maniz who can fly, but you can't fly into the canopy. Just up ahead, you see two individuals dressed in standard clothing. They appear to be running, uh, but they're humans and they're only running at 30. So you are going to quickly catch up to them. Uh, can I throw go, go, fire go. while we're running? Yes. Uh, the com- the Commodore uh, urges you all forward. Cool, cool. Yeah, I'm going to throw fire at him. AC 10. Uh, that is a 13 to hit. Nice. So let's see here. Oh, shit. I need two of these. 11 fire damage to one of them. Cool. Uh, he's dead. Ha <laughs> ha! Success! Uh, Maniz, Taryn, and Dewey, what are you guys doing? I'm going to take a pot shot with my crossbow. Sure. We didn't need to kill him, Taryn. <laughs> no, we didn't. Uh, that's a 17 to hit. That hits. I want to ask you something, Lucas. Yeah. And three Why damage, Pearson. Save the world. Three? You really, so, so don't seem to want to save the world. Did you say three? Why do you want to? Why don't Still you want alive. To... <clears throat> we are chasing down people, so let's save the role playing for after we. You know what? No. Stop them. I'm doing this right now. Because I'm sick of this shit. I, I don't really care. What do you want to do, Dewey? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, go ahead. No, go ahead. You keep running. <clears throat> I am going to take a second. I'm going to. No, pop the head going. off a crossbow bolt and shoot non-lethally at the running. Sure. <laughs> it's just shattered wood. <laughs> I don't know how non-lethal that is. Don't roll too high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that is... It's a plus four now. So uh, 15. Do it non-lethally? 15 hits. The idea is you take the pointy end off so it's just yeah. a bludgeoning thing. So a lot. Yeah. Did you did you play with the lawn darts with the metal tips? Because they weren't excessively sharp, but <laughs> they were blunted. Oh, I, oh, I did actually. I never hit anybody. So uh, I, mean, I hit everybody I aimed at. That's why we didn't get to play with them very long. 
why you don't have nice things. And I did. Like siblings. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> seven uh, bludgeoning damage. Yeah, he had one hit point left. He's dead. Damn it. Face down. A scream is heard. Come Lucas, where? get down. I duck. Uh, just as you duck, your uncle leaps forward and a flame comes shooting left to right. A big flame, like a flame strike. Okay, now this oh. is... <laughs> is my uncle dead? <laughs> my only family I didn't know I had? This is Matt 22. <laughs> Thanks, uncle. Holy shit. He is on fire and falls forward. Everybody looks to the left. There is a Naga in this location, and it's kind of pissed. Everybody roll initiative. Now that's an enemy. Ooh. I don't know what a Naga is, but we'll find out. Find snake creature. The With snake. a human head. Oh, that sounds yeah, cool. they're no seventeen. They're kind of nasty. <laughs> they can be, yes. Eight. Eight. Taryn. Taryn. Twenty-three. <gasps> Twenty-three. Twenty-three bodies. Uh, as the uh, flame strike finishes up, uh, you guys are up. I would assume that what me is the Commodore dead? No. Is he unconscious? No. Okay. Although he's pretty bad. <laughs> he is screaming in pain. Uh, Taryn or Dewey, you got the twenty threes. What you gonna do? Because I imagine you're you. faster than I am, Taryn. So go ahead. Oh, uh, maybe. Um, I'm gonna maybe I'll just shoot it with my white cord. <coughs> it's gonna be a long freaking day. So AC eighteen on the Naga. Oh, that's a tough AC. All right. Um, has my back. Okay. Oh well, that's a sixteen on the die plus. So that the. The ammo would confer an additional plus one bonus, so that's a 20, God, that's a 20, whatever, 26. <laughs> so that'll hit. For six, 10, 11 points of damage. Nicely done, Dewey. <laughs> um, Dewey's going to sound the retreat and go pick up the Commodore and start hauling him away because we're not supposed to be fighting Nagas. Okay. And there's fresh meat for it. 17. Uh, that is uh, Maniz. I will cast Sacred Flame. It's a dex save of 14. 13 on the die. Plus 42. Plus four. Oh. So wing and a miss. Lucas, I run away. <laughs> um, Lucas, you and I are eights. So whatever you do, I'm also going to do something else. Okay. Well, I'm using my movement and bonus action to help Dewey carry my uncle out of danger. And then my action is I cure wounds on him. Fair enough. How much uh, are you going to heal him for? 12 hit points. That helps. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm gonna upcast. Oh my! I don't know what that is. Uh, out of the three of you, Dewey and the Commodore, uh, give me DC 16 versus Wisdom. Yeah, shit. Oh, you got <laughs> five. <laughs> oh no. Nine. Uh, Dewey and the Commodore are gone. What? New round. Uh, 23. Taryn. I told you this was going to be tough. Oh, I know. I And I welcome it. God, 
God, I feel like I'm doing puny little damage. Ah, shoot her again. God is that it. banishment? Charisma saving throw. Oh, is it? My it bad. is. I would have still gone away, but... He rolled a five, so... so yeah. <laughs> okay. My bad. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's... Uh, all right. My, uh, 21 to hit. Oh, that means hopefully they'll be back. Well, at least I'm hitting. Crappy damage. Uh, so seven, eight points of damage. Makes it to 19. Uh, 10 or above, right, Dewey? For 10 or above. Uh, 13. So still gone. Um, 17. Uh, Dewey, do you get a uh, another shot at the apple? Okay. 17, Manise. Fly away, Manis. Meet him at the White House. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, trouble! I got separated. Um, no, I, I want to use to the White House. For God's sake. I want to. I want to try to dispel magic, but there's some wording I'm not a hundred percent sure on. Uh, Kyle can tell you. What what magic are you dispel trying to dispel? Magic. I know, but like, what are you the, trying to the dispel? Spell the spell the guy casted. Yeah, well, you pro you probably wouldn't know what he's what the naga cast well i would assume it's magic you just made them disappear they didn't people don't disappear for nothing so that, you're about ready to run <laughs> <laughs> well, wouldn't that be an arcana check i don't care if he wants to do dispel magic i don't care but i don't know how you dispel well something. it says choose one creature object or magical effect within range any spell of third level or lower um i did up cast ends. at five but then it says for each spell of fourth level or higher on the target, make an ability check using your spell casting ability. Right. But, have to, but to to what? Like my spell casting is whatever it is. I know what it is. You would have to make a 15 because it's a cast up to a fifth level spell. So it's 10 plus the level of the spell. There you go, folks. Yeah. So then I roll out a d20. You go with the player. Yeah, you roll a d20 plus your proficiency. And Not then your proficiency. I thought it was spellcasting modifier. Spellcasting modifier, not the proficiency, uh, yeah. unless you have an ability specifically to do that. Oh, okay. Which is... Uh, I thought spellcasters were just proficient in spellcasting. It's, it's, no, 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 it's fine. All right, no, that's, that's just... yeah. Well, you don't um, know what kind of spell you're dispelling, so you're not proficient in being able to do that. How about that? Okay, so Maniz, go roll to a D20. hell, producer. <laughs> I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt on the Naga. There you go. That works, too. Frank, did you mean to send that only to me? Yes. Okay, cool. That that was in uh, reference to your earlier one, but I just... Oh, cool. Call. Nice. Go ahead, um, Maniz. Hit me! Hit me, bitch! <laughs> so, uh, 17. Shout Shout out to Tamlin. Nope. 18 is the Naga's AC. Uh, Lucas, <laughs> you and I tied. I'll let you go first while I disable the entire party. So, peace so by peace. I was uh, moving away with Dewey and my uncle. And so what, now you fall flat. Because yeah, there. but which direction were they going? Were they going farther down the path towards the Fulton? Or were they going back the way we came? Or were they heading towards... The lighthouse. Which direction were they fleeing in? We were heading to Fulton. You're heading to Fulton? I say Fulton. Okay. Uh... We were about to step on those lighthouse guards' bodies. <laughs> Got it. No, no children yet. Cool. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, use a dash action to continue on towards Fulton. Uh, Maniz, this is exactly what I was pointing out to you. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Dash. Uh, yeah, 70 feet. I moved 70 feet down the path. <laughs> Maniz, odd. Taryn, even. Odd. Maniz, give me a wisdom saving throw. There's a big whopping 14. Uh, wisdom throw is 16. Uh, you have been commanded to get in the fetal position. <laughs> Top of oh, that's 
That's why he's not flying. That would have been really funny. If he's flying. Top of the order, Taryn. Things are looking grim. <laughs> <laughs> uh, folks, the uh, campaign will be ending on the 17th of October. <laughs> Shut up. Go ahead, Taryn. Oh, uh, Lord. I don't want to blow spell slots now. <sighs> now may be the time to blow the spell slots. <laughs> like I mean, it's not like I don't have any, you know. I, oh, wait a minute. I never reset them all. So I blew a first level. Shit, I, I don't have any of them. <laughs> oh, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. All right. That fixes it. Do, has Dewey reappeared somewhere else? I don't understand. Uh, He's I in a pocket this... dimension, right? Uh, yes, essentially. And until a minute passes, then we reappear. Yeah. At the same spot, yes, <laughs> where everybody's dead <laughs> <laughs> except for the Naga. <laughs> I snap the Commodore's <laughs> neck and then I fight the Naga to the death. I'm gonna cast greater invisibility on myself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <first>. <laughs> uh, that's fair. Go ahead. <laughs> I do. I'm gonna. Uh. And then I will let you know what I'm doing for right. I will I will move up closer to it and draw my plus two rapier. Cool. Uh, Maniz, uh make a save. See if you can stop. Oh, we're gonna die. Oh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. <laughs> yes. That would be a twenty-five. We're not gonna die. We're going to live. Damn it. <laughs> we're not gonna die. I'm going to live. Uh, Maniz, you look around. And you're alone. <laughs> well, I would have seen would I have seen where Lucas went? You you were doing the private saving private Ryan. <laughs> uh so we were on our way to the lighthouse, if I recall, yes. I believe I, that that was the original plan. If we got separated, we go to the lighthouse. All right. I uh fly full throttle at uh whatever that can give uh, me. It's 50, but I don't know what full throttle like fits like a dash. But either way, I'm going towards the lighthouse. Fair enough. Uh Lucas, what are you doing? Um I'm gonna pause for a second because I'm what 70 feet away from the action. And uh, I still see the Naga there. The Naga seems healthy. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm going to try and throw a lightning bolt at it. Since I don't see any other people since <laughs> Manise flew away. <laughs> Dewey's gone. So <laughs> the lightning bolt um, is a uh, DC 16 deck saving throw. Yeah, it's targeting him. I'm not worried. Fail. Fail. So that is 8d6 lightning damage. So let's see. 34. <clears throat> Dewey. Commodore. Back in. Uh, unfortunately uh, for me, Lucas and I go at the same time. Uh, one or two, I ruined Taryn's day. Three or Maybe four. You can't see me. You don't even know where I'm at. You don't know what I'm going to do. Taryn, no, I... did you have to roll a deck save? No. No, because she was in the wrong spot. Oh, okay. That's lucky. <laughs> one. I cast my six level spell, True Scene, and I do this. Yeah. <laughs> and look at Taryn. Top that... of the order, Taryn and Dewey. Dewey, you go first. I'm gonna let you go. Humana, 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 humana. I don't know what you wanted. I don't know what you wanted, girl. I don't know if you're gonna relieve or fight. Dewey, you've what... been muted the entire time. I like on. to not have anyone hear any of my brilliant jokes. I know you keep on smiling and mouthing stuff, and I'm like, oh, this is probably like, good. Ah, <laughs> you always mute yourself, and then you never remember to turn it off. It's because I don't want to interrupt you, people. God <laughs> damn it, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> Smarmy. 
Uh, can you at least be heard? God damn it. All right. Uh, Dewey. I'm that do fromage. <laughs> oh, what's that lady's name? So wait, what are you doing, Dewey? The ironic lady, Sarah Borellis. That's the only voice of God I know. Dog what are you gonna no. do? Run, because that was the continued uh, plan originally. To the lighthouse? No, to <laughs> in the direction I was running. In the direction we were, were running. Go to the lighthouse. Fair yeah. enough. Oh, Taryn. So all right, so since he's going, I'm. I don't even know if I realize she spotted me per se, but I'm going to follow him. <clears throat> Fair enough. As you follow, uh, the Naga watch. Actually, I go by him because I've got a 35 move speed, so he's behind me now. Uh, next up is the Commodore. Go. For love and honor! And he charges, motherfuckers. <laughs> charges the Naga? He's oh. charging the Naga, and the Commodore is going to. Whoop some serious ass. Oh. Unless if he run if he rolls a one, he is going to hip check Taryn, knocking her down and making her visible. So keep that in mind. If I critical fumble this, you're gonna get hit. Wait, why would I become visible? Well, if you fail your concentration check. That's a one. A one. A ten and a six. Yes, you have a lot of dice there, but which one is the one you rolled? <laughs> it's the three. It's three attacks. Uh, the ten, I think, is going to hit the Naga. <coughs> Terran, uh, he bumps into you, spins off, uh, and slices into the Naga. I mean, truth be told, it's it's irrelevant anyway. She can see me, so it doesn't matter. Nice hit. He came to fucking play. <laughs> uh, everybody hears, for love and honor! Uh, and it's the Commodore's <laughs> voice. He's not taking any shit from any fucking snake. This is Sparta. Uh, now we move on to Manise, who's flying up, up, and away. Give me a perception check. He didn't have the rotted goat. Uh, 18. Uh, you see Lucas uh, through a hole in the canopy. You do not see Dewey. Uh, he is not headed to the lighthouse. Okay, well, I'll go towards Lucas. Uh, next up are the eights, the Naga and Lucas. Woo! Um, and my uncle is right next to the Naga, so no more lightning bolts, I guess. Come, nephew! Bask in the glory. All right. I'll, uh, I'll he still move. can't figure out what the hell he hit. I'll move up <laughs> uh, 10 feet or so, and then I'll throw fire. <sighs> okay. And that is a 22 to hit. So let's roll my fire. God, that would have been great if it was a one. <laughs> 18 fire damage. Ooh, Jesus. Yeah, I got really lucky on that one. I didn't think you guys would go that far. Uh, the Naga is going to take a big old fucking bite out of him. Oh, and he also gets... Oh! Uh, 20. Dirty 20 is going to hit him. Now he's got to make a save. <laughs> Poor uncle. I just met save. him. Save. He's only going to take half damage. How bad does he look? He ain't looking good because he just took seven more and he's going to take half of 10d8. Um, Only half. It's fine. I healed him for 12. Yeah, Only you half of 10d8. Some 40 damage. <laughs> max. Oh, yeah, again. max. Gotta roll a couple of these. Yeah, one, two, six, one. Fuck, that's not bad. Uh, that's 10. Oh, that's not so good. <laughs> it's all right. That's even less good. Uh... <laughs> okay. Uh... He, he is not looking sweet. Top of the order. Dewey, Taryn, you guys are up. Taryn, I'll give you your uh, invisibility, even though the true sight shows where you're at. 
Well, that basically what that means is, uh, so wait, you'll let me have my advantage on my hit? No, gonna, it knows where you're at. Yeah, so yeah, I didn't think so. So I'm just gonna, basically I'm, I'm basically- But I'm nobody gonna, else does. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine at the moment. Um, I'm gonna shoot her. I switch, basically I drop the sword pull back out the crossbow and shoot it. And that is a, that's over a 20. Yep. 13 and eight is 21 plus the one is 22. You might want to kill this fucking thing. By oh, the way. God. <laughs> that sucked. That is five, uh, no, that's six points of damage. That's minimum. Do we? Actually, I got to keep track. That's three bolts. I go running in. It's really fun to say things in the exact same tone you said them the first time, only a little bit sadder because you had to say it again. I go running in with the light hammer and chisel and go to town uh, recklessly. Uh, dirty 20. Whew. Uh, an 18. And finally, another dirty 20. Three hits. Okay, and that is, oh, this is going to suck, 5, 10, 14, 16, between bludgeoning and piercing. 90 down. <clears throat> Fair enough. For love and country. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't hit one of you fuckers. Or not. Maybe the invisible person? A two. Back. Uh, two 11s oh. plus eight or two 19. So yeah, he does connect, but a two. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Manise. Uh, you kind of curve in because Lucas has run towards where the Naga was. So as you drop through the canopy, you may stay elevated and do something, or you may land and do something. Um, what do I see? Like, do I see the battle, all that stuff going on? You see a battle. You don't see. Oh, Taryn hit, didn't you? Now, do, yeah. do you lose your no, greater invisible? You don't see Taryn, so she's probably dead. No. Um, I didn't see the arrow. Or the bolt, excuse me, it's a crossbow. He got in her belly. Pew. I could fire my crossbow from the air, could I not? Yep. I will fire my crossbow at the Naga. Naga, 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 Naga. naga. Careful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 25. <laughs> Hits. Um. And Your a joke whopping, isn't working, do we? A whopping four. <laughs> Piercing yep. damage. I think he's doing that on purpose. <laughs> Fair sure. enough. Oh, I forgot. And then I didn't care. Oh. Uh, Lucas, <laughs> it's you and I. Throw a fire again. Okay. Now, uh, how far away are you? I'm within 60 feet. Okay. Because like I said only, I moved up last time. Only Dewey and uh, the Commodore are in melee range. Yes. Okay. Go ahead, Lucas. <clears throat> Uh, I don't think I hit. That was a 12 with my fire. Nope. Uh, go sailing high. Uh, you probably will not burn this down. Uh, spell or bite. Where the hell did my D4s go? I'm going to bite. Uh, odd, even. Odd. Do you want to be odd or even, Dewey? Give me even. One, the Commodore. Yeah, fuck your uncle. Uh, 15 Literally. plus 8 is 23. Does the Commodore pass his poison saving throw? Oh. I'm not resistant to poison. Too bad. Is that a one? Yeah, that's, that's a one. That's a one. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Woo! The Commodore is in deep shit. Hey, uh, Lucas. I knew him well. Were, <laughs> remember when you were an orphan? <laughs> you know, in two minutes from now? Uh... I don't know. Are you still an orphan? No. You're still an orphan if you have an uncle, right? Yeah. Yeah, good. Okay. 
Yeah, it doesn't really make any difference. It's still sure. Okay. Ow. You're only a double orphan if your parents die, and then the wolves who raised you are slaughtered. Yeah, that's a possibility. Uh, yeah. So, do we? You know, that was orphan, not good. One of your father figures is still alive, right? Yeah. Even though he wants Wait, to kill. Wait, the the father figure that hired people to kill us. Yeah. Yes. Well, not well, kill you. Yeah. Kill me. Kill him. Oh, I thought it was all of us, the entire party. No, it's him. Nope. It There's wrong. a month after the third. Uh, the Commodore is down. Down? Down. 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 I step on the Commodore's neck. Points down. Oh, Taryn, Dewey, you're up. Wait, 160 double... points down? Uh, he has sustained 160 points. Oh, is that oh, double his okay. HP? Not yet. <laughs> It's not double his HP? Nope. Oh, that was so it's not instant death. I thought it was half the HP was instant death. He's so. saying from the top of what he had to where he is now is 160. Oh. It's gonna be so there's still a chance. <laughs> He's making death saving throws. Yeah, got you, it, gotta, got it. you gotta neutralize poison and resurrect him. Uh, top <laughs> of the order, Terran and Dewey. I step on the Commodore's neck. No. <laughs> giving that two death failed saves, and then I step him on his nuts. <laughs> no, Taryn, go ahead first. <laughs> I was I was gonna cast healing word. Well, then do that. The word, I might have to bump, move up like five feet because I'm thirty five feet away. Oh no, it's sixty feet. Does Never. healing word work when you're poisoned? Uh, it heals hit point damage. Lesser restoration will get rid of poison. Yeah, you got to. Greater well too. Do I have lesser? Yeah, but I think I want to just wake him up. I can't. But I don't think stuck I if he's still poisoning, just goes right back down. Well, poisoned is a condition that it just gives him disadvantage on everything. Okay. Um, he but he can still stand up and move around, unless he... the poison is specific to that. Was so, it po- what do you want to do, Taryn? I guess. No, I want to do that. Um, I'll cast it. God. Fifth level. Fifth level. No. no. Eighth I'm... level. Burn we don't need spells. that fifth level spell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I already I'm... burned a third. And the fuck I just did so he's not making death saving throws. I'm going to do it second. I got to save some spells, people. Uh, this is what I meant by not. Well, that's a dead average roll. A one and a four. Plus, what's plus? Are you attacking? No, I'm oh, doing. Okay. <laughs> I'm casting healing word on him, which I can do from sixty feet away. Uh, plus five, so that is. 10 I can do lesser restoration. It's ten points back. It's just to get him away from death door. Okay. Uh, uh, do we? Assuming this is a snake thing, prone means nothing to it. Hold on, I've made a mistake. Oh? I have made a mistake. Uh, he only has 80 hit points, and he took 160. He's dead. At one? Oh, then I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, you would not have done that. My apologies. I just noticed okay. he had 80 hit points. He, that fucker's dead. You picked up Ray's dead, right? Or what is it? Reanimate? Rejuvenate? We're good. Resuscitate? We're good. We're good. Okay. We're good. Do we have the it. diamond component to that? <laughs> We Go ahead, Taryn. What do you want to do? Let me check. Let me check. <clears throat> he doesn't look good. Uh, <laughs> he's dead. I'm going to no. I'm going to have to. I'm going to keep shooting her. <sighs> or try. I can't heal him. So. Yeah, my apologies. I I was looking at the wrong thing. So, I'm looking I'll- at the Naga over here, not at the Commodore. Karen's been looking pissed this whole flipping time, and now she really looks pissed. Uh, that is. If only you guys could see her. <laughs> yeah. Well, she looked pissed before she was invisible. Uh, so that would be that's over a twenty again. Yep. Twenty-two again. That's a little better. Uh, four plus four is eight. Plus one is nine. Nine. I'm nickeling and diming her to death, <laughs> but it's something. So total nine? Yeah. Dewey, you're up. <laughs> um, I will... Yeah, let's attack recklessly again. 
Come on, murder. Uh, 16 on the die, 15 on the die, and 21. Yeah? Yeah. No. 19, but still all hits. Very good. Okay. I need to roll the dead dice, which is you. Sixteen, uh, twenty damage, um, between bludgeoning and piercing. Got it. Uh, the Commodore is down. <laughs> uh, next up, um, my knees. Perfect timing. Oh, was that to me? That was me. My knees, it's your turn. Ah, got it. No, I don't have to roll death saves. I'm dead already. Never You're mind. dead already. Yeah. You're dead. Um, dead. Oh, wait, sorry, I, I don't have a diamond, uh, but I do have another spell, so we've got time. What do you mean you have another spell? I have... I have raised dead, so we have up until ten days. Uh, but, but what does raised dead take? What does it do? A five hundred gold uh, gold piece worth of diamond. It lets me bring him back to life. Yeah, but he's not going to be well. He's not going to be with us in the rest of this mission, which I guess is. But we have what five days, ten days, ten days. Somebody ten. had a freaking diamond in this group. Yeah. It's like someone is uh, giving you guys a hint. Oh, okay. Well, then I can use uh, Revivify, which is... The sight a... or the true seeing gem. Uh, yeah. All I need is, yeah, <laughs> same thing. Diamond worth 300 uh, gold points. So what if do you we have do? that... Well, do, do we? Do we have that diamond? Because I remember somebody had one. You have it. It's oh, the I last I remember. Yes. And I imagine Please, it's not. worth Revive more him. than 300. All right. I'll, I'll cast Revivify. <laughs> But pull him away from the danger <laughs> and then revive him. <laughs> Probably you a good idea. Away and revive him then because he's <laughs> Yeah, I'll do that. I'll I'll start hey, pulling hey. the dead back to safety to revive him. Thank to you. Revive. Thank you. Oh my god. Do you want me to check to see if I bring him to safety prior to or I ought to, yes. Okay, what do you want me to roll? Gonna Strength. take it. Strength? Strength check. He's not, he's not super heavy, but he's heavier than you are. Uh, that'll be an 11. Yeah, you get him about eight inches away. <laughs> <laughs> you get elf bones, aracocra bones, normal human bones. Uh, that brings us to the eights, Lucas and the serpent. Uh, I'm going to throw fire again. And that is an 18 to hit. There you go. Oh, yeah. I also, you know, shout out to help me pull due to safety. Therefore, I really uh, Okay, that, that was uh, 17 fire damage. Ugh. Okay. Uh, what am I going to do? Uh, I'm going to bite uh, since Manise is close. No, oh, come on. Why not Dewey? <laughs> I uh, need- we can take it. Now, did you revivify him or no? I'm waiting till he's still safety because the second I bring him back, you kill him. It's kind of a waste. Yeah. So 50 50 shot then. Uh, you want to be odd or even, Manise? I'll be odd. One. <laughs> <laughs> Maniz is dead. No one's getting revived. Party's 19, done. <laughs> 19 on the roll plus 8. Holy yeah, okay, that hits. Yeah, that uh, hits. DC 15 versus Khan on the poison. <laughs> what was this, uh, 10 d 8 of damage? Yeah. He's already taken 10 on the bite. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you won't... This roll, I rolled a 2. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You said con save, am I correct? Yes. Yes, con. Yeah, I rolled a two. 
Oh, it was nice knowing you guys. <laughs> You're at full hit points. You be he better not fucking kill you. I mean, he he took 10 damage, and now he's doing 10d8 <laughs> poison. There's a good possibility that Maniz is gone. <laughs> As Maniz dies, I turn to him. Oh, by the way, the monk was trying to kill you. Uh, 29 <laughs> hit points of poison. Nope. I won't kill him. I had shit rolls on my last. Uh, top of the order. Denise, did you hear that? 29 poison? Yeah. Okay. And 10 on the bite. Uh, oh, and 10 on the bite. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dewey is going to uh, nope. shove the Naga with his first attack. So I need the athletics or acrobatics, your choice. Roll off! Uh, 17 plus. Uh, Four, you got so it doesn't beat. matter. 21, yeah. Yeah, uh, and one more attack is another shove. Uh, uh, that's a nat 20, so you ain't making that. Nope. I rolled terribly. 24. Okay. Uh, Taryn, what are you doing? How bad does this thing look? Uh, it's seen better days. I just, you should I run. Fucking day, man. I know it's gonna be a long fucking day. I don't want to burn. Well, it's time. almost night. The attack on the city is about to begin. Yeah, you guys are sitting there uh, 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 humping a guardian dog. <laughs> I mean, it, it's only been like forty seconds. Or, or you know what? Our, our ally is the reason why we are. You know, so we didn't have to do this, but he wanted to run in. Um, no, I'm just going to keep. Maniz, now's the time to fly away with him, and I'll follow. <laughs> we all need to be there to do this. Folks, the uh, crew was warned to be very judicious <laughs> yeah. in their approach on this one. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna. My hands are clean. I am Pontius Frank. <laughs> no, shoot her again. Uh, so that's eight, uh, eighteen, nineteen. Yep. Hey, at least I'm hitting her. May not be for much, but I'm hitting her every freaking round. Uh, eight points of damage. So my D8 to roll a little better. Uh, do we, uh, you already went? Uh, I'm still down because I'm rotting from within as the toxin fills my veins. Maniz, you're up. <laughs> I am dead weight at this point in time. Yeah. I will try to fly away with uh, Dude Arino towards the uh, Dude Arino. <laughs> towards the uh, lighthouse. To the lighthouse! Away from the lighthouse! <laughs> So you're going to tell them where you're going. Let's see. Uh, D4. So are you really going to the lighthouse? That's where we told to meet. I know, but I realize now that's a bad idea. We're trying to go to Fulton. Uh, Kyle, is Sacred Flame a save or a two hit? It is a save dexterity. Uh... I can, I can see Taryn, so everybody is ripe. There's five of you. Uh, Sacred Flame is a cantrip, so you're hitting one person. Flame Strike would be the thing to hit an area of people. Right. No, I'm, I'm trying to figure out who I'm hitting. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, we're all fair game. My knees. My knees. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Did this Commodore... He's a bird. Off? He's fast. He can dodge. Seriously, did this Commodore piss off, you know, this Naga or something? Make your save, Maniz. <laughs> well, I see Con birds safe? all the time. Uh, no, Dex. it's uh, Dex. You're sacred. getting sacred flamed. You have sacred flame. You're going to taste your own medicine. 18. Yeah. Fair enough. It shoots over him and almost hits the Commodore. Uh, as you uh, 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 top of the order, Terran and Dewey. God damn it. This is so annoying. Uh, gonna shoot him again. So has Maniz gotten away with the Commodore's body? Eh, he's probably going to get away. 
Okay. Then I'm just going to straight attack at... Uh, Taryn, you already rolled, so you go first. I'm going to roll the dice. It's a hit. It's a hit. It's over 20 again. Come on. There we go. 7 plus 4 is 11 plus 1 is 12 points of damage. Dewey. We have... Nine seventeen between bludging and piercing. The Nago falls. That's a target. <sighs> Nago and we two let lighthouse the Commodore keepers. dies. <laughs> uh, Maniz is headed to the lighthouse with the Commodore. Yeah. Well, unless, unless I. Unless I've got to, like, you know what I mean? Somebody shouts at me. I don't know how far away I would have gotten. Up I assume... over the canopy. <laughs> can we, uh, can, can he hear us at all? If we yell. Uh, Maniz, D12 against me. I don't want to blow a fucking spell slot. One? Yeah, no, he can't hear you. Because <laughs> um, those bullfrogs are going, bud. Hi. Yeah, I'm gonna. Well, I'm. How far am I away now? Just, just up above the canopy. You just St. Louis arch it, land in the shoals on some uh, rocky okay. outcropping outside the lighthouse. I'll, I'll Hopefully, cast, there's nobody else left in there. <laughs> I'll cast revivify as soon as I land. Okay. I guess we head that way then, guys. Do I need to make a save to versus con to make sure I don't flub it? No, nope. touch a creature that has died in the last minute. That creature returns to life with one hit point. Okay. And our gem of true seeing. Uh, I'd say minutes. we head right. towards the city. Right. City no, or lighthouse? Which, which way did uh, my uncle go? I thought he went towards the lighthouse. Lighthouse. Yeah, yeah, I'm going, I'm we going have a lighthouse. limited amount of time. To do all the things we need to do, we need to get to the city. We're now split, though. We have to wait for them, anyways. They can fly. They'll get here faster. My uncle can't fly. Yeah, well, he can. He's going to carry him, I would assume. He can grab my knees, knees. Or Lucas, you can turn into a bird and go after them and carry them back. But we need to start heading towards the city. Knees, did you get that? We have to do all of this stuff within the full moon and within the solstice, or we're fucked. Why? That's information. Yeah, why? why? Actually, if we stand and talk long enough about this, maybe we'll come back. Why? No, we're going to keep walking and talking. Oh, it's fine. We need to wait for him. For who? Me? Fly and have eyes. Light a torch. They can see it. So I go go back to look for... Yeah, well, for, I mean, we can Lucas start the gang. before we're heading there, but I mean, we need to wait for him. Them. I know. Well, I explain, though. What do you the know? The notes of Benskin. If we do not defeat the evil on this solstice, it will reign supreme for, I imagine, thousands of years. I can't tell, really, because some of this is burnt. We have to go. Terran. So- my this son, isn't about your family anymore. This is about the no, whole continent. It never was. This is not about my family. This, why I'm here, is because really the- your selfish desires to hide Alvin Knackle's body leads me to think otherwise. No, I caring about someone else for a change. We have to go to the city. Oh my freaking god, I do. You, I, that's why I looked in there. You, ugh. So he starts walking and he'll light a torch so that at least people can see where he's at when they come after him. So, I mean, the, the Naga's gone, right? That's taken care of. Yeah. All right. I, I assume Maniz lands hey, wait, with the item. Shit, it's the, not, does the Naga have anything useful on it? So I, yes, I it, give... it has a uh, plus go... five sort of sharpness. Yeah, I go, I go back there. Turns out it couldn't sharpness. use it. <laughs> Does the Naga have anything on it? I'm going to quickly try to quickly 
but see. So when I land back, back, I land I back. I moved and Dewey anyway, so I'll catch up. Maniz, you land no, in you between don't. Taryn, who's farting around with the Naga, and Dewey, who is full speed ahead, headed towards the trail. And I assume Lucas, too. Lucas, which way were you going? I think you still. So Maniz, <laughs> yeah, I, I do. Uh, so <laughs> Maniz is coming back, right, with... My yeah. Uncle. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I'm well, heading. Not, not, not your uncle. Just I'm coming back. What? You need to bring him back. But I. Well, let me land and talk to the poor man. <laughs> Nobody's letting Manise. Yeah. Talk tell to me what's going on. Tell yeah. me, Manise. Uh, so, I took your uncle to the lighthouse. Yeah. I revived him. Okay. He gave me this blade. Told me to give it to you. And to come back for him. Come back for him now? No. After we, we do what we got to do. Okay. He'll, I, he'll, be, he'll be fine. Did he say anything else about this blade? No. All right. Thanks. I'd take the blade. All right. Let's go accomplish this as quickly as possible so I can go back and, and uh, see my uncle. It's a plus two blade. Oh, cool. Dagger or sword or something? Sword. Cool. That's like, all right. Uh... I Think you do care? What? I care about my uncle. What about the rest of? All right, that but still begs the question. We'll walk and talk. But begs the question about what? I. You seem to hate everybody. You seem to want the world to die. I'm indifferent. No, you're not indifferent. You've you've killed people. She is projecting. <laughs> she you is. People that were. <laughs> As you hey, walk and talk, going, you I'm reach going. the edge of the swamp, and there is a road that Taryn is oh, eminently good. familiar with. It is a uh, firmly packed road. It is the road leading to the capital in the south. <laughs> On that road, there is a retinue of a mounted knight and several warriors. Oh, Would you like fun. to approach them or wait till they pass? I assume they're from Fulton, right? They are coming from that direction. I sure as hell don't want to approach them. Anybody else want to approach them or no? Dude's going <laughs> to oh. sneak by them if possible. Uh, you all notice that the sun is starting to set. So uh, you may probably stealthily circumvent them if that is what you're going to try. Does anybody <laughs> want to make contact with these guys? No. No freaking way. Is there way. any sign that they are from Fulton or they wear maybe... the Herald of Fulton on their armor? How's oh, the... the armor, the condition of the armor? Pretty good. Okay. Not shiny. Oh. Black and gunmetal. Evil looking shit. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> are, we near... are we near the gate now or no? Uh, you're about a half hour away from the gate. Oh, okay. No, I don't want to do it yet, then. As the I... sun sets in the west, it gleams onto the city. Everybody, perception check. Oh, now we're doing perception checks. Do I really checks. want to make this perception check or not? 18. 8. 16. I'm going to probably... Oh. Uh, 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 sorry, hang on. Perception. What is my perception? All right, so uh, 16. Everybody but Dewey notices what is loosely referred to as Greek fire coming from the water. Nice. The attack has begun on the Tower of Power. Chop, chop, boys and girls. Um, are we near the wall? You're about 30 minutes away. No, you know. we're going to walk to the wall and then I'll, I assume we still want to try to sneak in via invisibility and him flying us over. Yeah, when we're near the wall. Um, oh, real quick, because they want to get ahead of me here. When they eventually catch up to Dewey Docamel, who is moving ahead, Dewey will pull the- out one of the books and hand it to Maniz being the most <coughs> trustworthy in the party, even though he tried to sell him out to the derogenous sect. <laughs> yeah, for the love of Pete. Yes. Uh, uh, Turnbuckle was uh, uh, slain by the monk that we encountered earlier 
uh, Manise, who was uh, after you, according to this note here. But uh, I rummaged through his study and his notes, uh, which were burned. And uh, Turnbuckle turned out to be an asshole? What? I'm not going. Keep going. <laughs> All right. I was able to recover some notes on the staff of power and the box. And uh, it looks like we were missing a lot of important information. Otherwise, we could have royally been screwed if we had tried to uh, contain evil in the box. Didn't, didn't we try to contain evil in the box? If we tried to contain evil in the box. As you're walking and talking, you notice strange trees are lining the approach to Fulton. Different than what I would know? People trees. They are crucifixes, yeah. and there are people on them. Yep. Uh, Do we see any of Taryn's Taylor family? Style? I want to see. I, I'm looking for Taryn's family. You don't need to know. Looking for a half look. elf. <laughs> uh, the, the, these like. people uh, appear to have been rotting for several days. Ooh. Oh, Taryn, does that one look familiar? How about that but, one, Taryn? Behind you, the sun has started to dip below the tree line and darkness is starting to fall. Everybody notices there's not a lot of light coming from the city. However, the Greek fire has intensified where you presume the Tower of Power to be. Uh, ahead of you is a gate to the city. Portcullis is down and a retinue of guards behind the portcullis. How do you want to approach the city? I grab my book back from my knees. Not on the road. Um, yeah, I, I say... Uh, I say, we, boy, I say! <laughs> I say we all turn invisible. Uh, my knees flies Dewey over, and I fly Taryn over, and we meet inside somewhere hopefully near each other <laughs> somewhere yes i like that <laughs> yeah. Let's wait, wait is there all right so is there a building right near the gate or not too or a little bit inside that sort of stands all like an inn or something that i could just tell them uh producer go ahead and throw up the picture of the city yeah. for me please right uh, you guys all have a picture of the city you guys are coming in from the west aka the left side <laughs> you will be higher than the road or where you are at is the road uh any minute now you will be spotted can we jump uh, into the buildings go. that are on that left side we need to get off the road for starters so we can do this without being spotted yeah, I agree. I want to be out of sight while we're having this discussion. We're going off the road. Okay. I don't There's think only scrub trees here. There's not a lot of uh, concealment, but you can find an area that <clears throat> will go ahead and benefit you. As you can tell, there are several buildings outside what would be considered shanty town. There are no lights coming from these buildings as though they are vacant. Oh, so we're coming in near the jail. You're coming in near A3. Yeah, which is the jail side of town. Or, yep. Or slip north. So which friend lives at the closest? Their house is not going to be a further. I'm looking for a landmark, basically, where we can just land and meet. So what are those buildings? Because you don't have them all defined. Is a lamb. Any of those stand out for any reason? No, they're just general businesses. Any, all right. Uh, one of them is one of them like an inn, and I have told them the inn name. Uh, in, in between two and three under the A section, the larger square is an inn. Oh, so like right at the entrance there at the gate? Yeah. On the left, well, essentially. No, just, just to the north of it. So, so you've, got, you've got right inside the gate is an inn. But the inn that's safer is one, two, three squares up. I'll tell them the name of it. And that that's a safer place to meet. Fair enough. I need people burning. And I let me check. I think I can see how many how many uh, spells I'm using here. Uh, there is basic invisibility. Now this is the one, of course, invisibility, of course, is the one where if you do attack something, then you go, then you're visible. 
And you cast a spell using a spell slot at third level, higher target, one additional creature. So it's, what is it? I start out with, with one, so I can do three. So all right, so I have to basically burn a fourth level. I'm not gonna burn the fifth. I'm gonna burn fourth level slot to get three of us, and then I'm gonna burn a, just a regular slot on myself to get to get me. But you can't be- cast it twice because it's concentration. Oh, right. Oh, shit. No, I can't do it then. But that's fine. I can cast invisibility on myself. Don't worry. Okay, cool. That works. <laughs> it's fine, but I can still get three. Yeah, you, you worry about you and two others, and I'll take care of myself. Since we don't have the Commodore, it doesn't complicate matters. Yeah. All right. So I cast, I cast it at yeah, fourth level. Uh, you told them the name of the inn and you're going yes. up and over the wall. And, and the location of the inn, right? Yeah, I give the you general the location. location. Okay. Uh, as Reason. darkness takes over the city, everybody is invisible. You go up and over the walls. Everybody roll D20. Make sure you don't hit the edge of the wall. Good. I'm good at that, by the 13. way. 10. I did not. I rolled uh, way higher than that, 18. Everybody gets up and over, and as you do, you notice a lamplighter near the inn setting fire to a strange tree. Burning a tree? Tree. You land invisibly. You notice what he is lighting is a human being. God fucking damn it. Across the street, there is another individual with a large ladder and like a pitcher pouring some kind of copperish fluid down the throat of another individual who is choking and gasping as the lamplighter ignites the first body a glow can be seen from the individual's stomach everybody give me an insight check would a intelligence check work better? Kind of getting a general idea of what's happening? Like yeah, I'll give you intelligence. Time. All right. 17. Uh, do, do 19. Oh, well, that ain't helping much. Uh, 12. Taryn? Oh, 17. Sorry, you didn't hear me. Everybody but Dewey, they're pouring kerosene down the living beings that have been crucified and making them human torches. About that time, a plop and a fizzle of burning fat lands close to where you stand as the screams die out on the first human torch. And you are at the inn given to you by Terran. You are inside the city of Fulton, boys and girls, and it gets ugly from here. Final thoughts. Lucas. Uh, that was, uh, that's pretty cool. And, and the more I start hearing about this, the more I think uh, Lucas might, uh, you know, change sides. Uh, <laughs> I've always kind of considered my character a little more on the evil side. That's my point. Dewey. That's what I wanted to ask. Uh, yeah, Dewey's, Dewey's freaking out. I don't know. I ain't got nothing. I'll I'll kill Lucas though happily. He's Why good. Do because he knows uh, what's going on a little bit more than these yahoos. Uh huh. Aaron, final thoughts. Huh? I don't know. Well, first question: Did I see my family up on the road? No. You didn't you answer. Did no. Okay, just want to be sure. Uh, holy shit! Wow, this yeah, this is. I expected it to be bad, so um, no, this is great. I'm, I'm having an absolute blast, and I kind of don't want this to end next session. I want to draw out a few sessions, but it is what it is. This is this is just this is the best, this is the best campaign I've been in. Manise, final thoughts. I almost died. Um, I saved somebody from dying, so that's cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna gonna be interesting to see how we get through this i i don't think i'll make it through but i'll, I'll do what i can <laughs> i'm hurting it's, 
It's going to be really interesting to see who dies. He, he, Frank is convinced one of us is going. Be oh, for sure. Each of you have two potions of extra healing, and there is that heal scroll. Yeah. So you do have some items uh, thoughtfully donated by Lord Bushmill. Uh, is the Commodore alive or dead? Well, when last we saw, he was alive. Uh, hopefully there's no other lighthouse fuckers in there. Uh, looking for a quick kill on a heralded mariner. Uh, in two weeks, we will have a few more <laughs> answers. Uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. The Campaign. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at the YouTube archive. If you want to buy our cool stuff, it's down there. If you want to uh, just talk shit about D&D, join our Discord server. Most importantly, if you want to join the talk show or the one shots next week, I'm <laughs> Hobo Inc., uh twitter or gmail we will get you in there uh folks it's ugly you were warned uh i hope you were not disappointed for all of us here at murder hobo inc uh thank you very much we will see you later take us it's home it's closing time time for us to die now and our campaign ends are you shutting us off <laughs> oh that was it you got to do less than six seconds, otherwise they...